Hey, everybody. Welcome to How To Tuesday. This is an awesome How To Tuesday. We're going to go over some knots today. And one of the things that we've talked about many times on, on these How To Tuesdays where we go over knots, it's not necessarily how to tie the knot. There are plenty of videos out there about how to tie all these different knots, including some of my own videos. And YouTube is a fantastic resource for other people's videos as well. There's some really good ones out there. One of the things that is not covered very often is the strength of the knot and maybe how tying the knot slightly different might result in a stronger knot. And so that's kind of the theme today that we're going to go over and we're going to use a knot that is very commonly used and that is basically your fisherman's knot, the improved clinch knot. It's very easy to tie. You put the line through through the hook or whatever you're tying to. You do a number of turns around the line, back through the hole that you've created above the, the hook, and then back through the larger hole, um, which will make it what's called improved. Okay, then you cinch that down. But what's not covered very often is... How many turns should you do per uh, pound test that you're using? Okay, so I find that if I'm using heavier line, I can get away with fewer turns and maybe need to use fewer turns. If you're using like 80 pound or something and you want that to cinch down, if you're trying to do that with 20 turns, it's going to be much harder to cinch that down than it would be with two turns. Okay, so we, what we're going to do today is I've tied four different improved clinch knots on the same hook. This, the hook that we're using is the octopus circle, gamakatsu, four aught. The line that we're using is the Daiwa fluoro uh, leader, and this is 15 pound test. All of these are tied exactly the same way. And the only difference is I tied them all one after another and cinched them down the same way. And the only difference between these knots is that I did four turns on this one, five turns on this one, six turns on this one, seven turns on this one. So we are going to use the next tech uh, force tester, which we've used each time. And what this does is as it breaks, it will register the strongest uh, breaking strength here. So we're going to start with four turns on the improved clinch knot. Four turns, I got some gloves on so I can pull nice and easy and, and consistently. And so four turns with 15 pound test. Hmm, this one's gonna be hard to find. Okay, 11.82 pounds. Four turns, 11.82 pounds. Reset this, five turns. What will five turns do? Is it more, is it less? We'll find out. Huh, 8.87 pounds. Now, you also, when you're doing these um, tests, you can also determine that knot strength can be somewhat inconsistent. Did I pull that down as well as I did with the four turns, or was there something different there? Okay, here's six turns. 11.75 pounds. Okay, and finally, seven turns, improved clinch knot, 15 pound test, 11.59. Okay, so in my opinion, what we just decided was that there wasn't a noticeable difference between four turns, five turns, six turns, or seven turns. They were all kind of about the same. Um, which is a little bit surprising to me. With the same pound test, I would have thought, if I were to have forecasted this, I would have thought that more turns would be stronger. But as we, as we found out, the, the weakest was five turns, and I will say that that probably was due to the way that I tied it. Um, the other thing that you can learn from this is that an improved clinch knot is not that strong. It's really not that strong. We're under 12 pounds for 15 pound test. Now, where could you use that? Why, why would you maybe want that? If you had a, if you had heavy braid to um, your leader 
and you're throwing up against the trees and you might get caught in the trees, the weakest knot that would be, it would be handy if the weakest knot was to the hook. Okay. Because then you're just going to lose your lure. If you have to break it off, uh, if you, if you, if your weakest knot is between the braid to the leader, you're going to leave your leader and your, your, uh, lure in the tree. You're going to have to tie a new leader. It's going to be much more time consuming. Um, so there could be situations where you are purposefully choosing uh, a knot that you know will be less, that will break at less pound test than another knot in a situation like that. Uh, in this situation, I'm thinking maybe we look at other knots besides the improved clinch knot um, because you can find something that is actually much stronger. Um, but... The purpose of today was to determine whether four, five, six, or seven turns made a difference on an improved clinch knot. I think that we found out that if there is a difference, it's a very, very marginal difference. And so tie what you're comfortable with. All right. That's How To Tuesday for this week. We'll see you next week. 